Hello, Internet. It's Jess from Just Like Stuff, and I'm here with my Watch With Me Twin Peaks. I'm going to be talking about episode 7 called Revelation Time. Things are starting to get real juicy. Can't wait to get into it, so let's do it. The episode started on a half moon, beautiful close up, and then Audrey and Cooper. Uh, Audrey was in his room, half naked, trying to seduce him, but Cooper is such an honorable guy, he would not do that. Uh, they talked a little bit and he let her down gently, uh, which was nice to see. And they were talking a little bit and Audrey's like, do you have any secrets? And he's like, no, I don't, which I believe. I believe he is a very straightforward man and that if you were to ask him anything, he'd tell you for sure. But I'm sure he's kind of holding back some stuff, but not anything as bad as a lot of these characters, uh, in this twisted town. Leo. He does not have a mortal wound, he has but a small flesh wound on his arm, and he is being a big psychopath and stalking his poor wife, who is of course with Bobby. Bobby, I love his leather jacket, had a T on the back, I'm like, is he part of the T-Birds? Is he gonna like, sing some songs about getting poon in Greece? I digress. Uh, I just love that. but. Bobby promises Shelly that he's going to take care of Leo and take care of James. I don't know why he's still on the James trip, because he is the one who had Shelly and Laura, and he obviously now only has Shelly. I kind of think Bobby's a lot of bark and not that much bite. We get to the sheriff's office, and Cooper walks in with the whistle that he's been whittling, which was a nice callback, and we learn about Waldo. Uh, the little minor bird that uh, they're going to try to get him to talk. He's feeling a little, a little bit blue, and the <laughs> great little tiny thing, the grapes were a little bit too ripe. Uh, but Cooper left a uh, little audio recorder that only records when there's noise, which so we got to hear later in the episode what uh, Waldo has to say. I was happy to see Waldo. He's somehow become one of my favorite characters, even though he's a bird. The biggest thing this episode was Audrey in the beginning of the episode with Cooper and then in, we get to see her at the counter at Horns being super sassy to uh, the old lady trying to buy perfume from her and we get to see how uh, Horn and One-Eyed Jax are connected um, and she does it in a very, very sneaky way. She smokes her cigarettes and spies on the manager as he's chatting up a perfume girl or telling her how she can come and do like just some cocktail waitressing at One Eye Jacks but we all kind of know, wink wink nudge nudge, what actually happens there. Uh, Audrey actually makes it to One Eye Jacks in a great little scene where she she's trying to be cool. She plays it so well because she's trying to be cool but she's still a, a, in this, she's still a teenager, a high schooler and so she puts on this facade and she uh, but of course, the madam of one eye Jacks can see through it because she's a street tough girl, Blackie. Um, and she sees through it, but Audrey kind of pulls it through when she ties a stereo gem in a knot. And so she's definitely in at one eye Jacks. So I have to talk about Imitation to Love. Nadine was watching it, very sad because her uh, patent got rejected by the patent office for her silent drapes and she was very happy that Chet was giving people the business in uh, Invitation to Love. Ned comes to Nadine and kind of comforts her about it and says we'll just find another guy. It was nice to see that soft moment between them and to see that it's not just um, him putting up with her crazy but he actually loves and cares for her deeply so I really like that. Josie, 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 Josie is a bad lady. So sad about that. But she took out a insurance policy on Catherine for a million dollars and I think they're going to try to have her be burned at the mill when it goes down. Also we see Joseph hanging out with Bad Hank in a leather jacket. What's up with that? I don't know. The Bookhouse Boys are making a road trip to One-Eyed Jacks finally. They're getting ready. Cooper has ten thousand dollars I think of government money and him and Ed are gonna go there and Ed fantastic wig work I loved it wig and mustache looking ridiculous they're getting ready um, 
wiring and making sure everything works and they hear a shot and poor Waldo dies and it's a it's a very noir film kind of a thing uh, his blood's everywhere I don't think a bird that size would have that much blood uh, well, freaking Leo Leo shot him through the window uh, but we do get to hear a little bit of what Waldo had to say uh, little Waldo was saying Laura Laura no don't go in there leave me a Leo like he's and he also said Leo so they definitely know that Leo did something to her in the cabin we don't know what yet but that was a great scene well I really liked the way it was staged and shot and the donuts and the blood very good sad to see Waldo go R.I.P. Waldo I have to mention the ongoing Ben and Jerry eating things uh, Ben Horn and his brother Jerry this episode they were had a big pint of ice cream and were scooping it out and eating it that's such an odd detail because it was the sandwiches from France then the leg of lamb and now eating ice cream they're very gluttonous people so we get to finally see Cooper and Ed at one Edge Jacks and of course they're there at one Edge Jacks with the 90s tastic uh, poker themed lingerie that I love so much and we get to see how confident and awesome Cooper is in the field and he has his swagger going Ed almost messes it up with Blackie but they manage to reel it in with some really cute dialogue and they it didn't I wish there was more stuff there when I jacked there's probably gonna be more next episode but they're there they're spying and they get to see Jacques the big thing that happened at the end that was it really was scary uh, James and Donna and Maddie are trying to figure out what Dr. Jacoby had to do with Laura. Laura had these tapes where she, that she sent to Dr. Jacoby and she was clearly had some kind of sexual relationship with him and when Laura they played the tapes and they heard them you can definitely feel a lot of pain in Laura's life she didn't know how to express herself in a positive way I would say she felt that she had like sexual power over men and she didn't really know what to do with it and I think she expressed it in a negative way that led to her death ultimately but uh, they want to kind of trick Dr. Jacoby into coming out of his office so Donna and James can go and into his office and find some stuff in there to hopefully tie him to the murder beautiful acting on Maddie's part she plays she dyes her hair or I don't know if it's a dyeing her hair or she's wearing a wig and the same actress plays Maddie and Laura but the way that Maddie plays Laura is clearly uncomfortable in her own skin and that she's playing or that she's pretending to be this character I thought that was so good they have such small great details like that which makes this such a good show um, so they do that trick and Jacoby kind of believes them and leaves although he sees that they are hanging out by a gazebo and goes to that gazebo the final shot is Maddie standing by the gazebo with Bobby watching her and then someone watching them I we don't know who that is it's like a heavy breathing and shaky cam of the third person watching everyone and that's really scary I wonder if it's also the same person who watched the drug deal go down earlier between Bobby, Mike, and Leo. But I really have a feeling that Maddie is in mortal danger. I hope she doesn't die. I really like her character. And I just really want to know who that person is because they obviously see a lot and know a lot. One other thing. What was it that Bobby put into James's gas can? Was it drugs? Or was it an explosive? We don't know. We're going to find out. But I had to mention that. Yeah. Exciting. Things are coming together. The mill's gonna happen soon. They're at One Eye Jacks. What's gonna have a next episode? Going to watch very soon. Thank you guys for watching. I will be posting another video very soon for the season finale. Love you guys. Bye bye.